Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be talking about tables. We'll be working with tables in Adobe InDesign. How you can add tables and then modify the table. So I have the table at the main menu and I can go to tables options and then I can do some few adjustments to the design and the feel or the look of my table. So I'm going to walk you through how you can do amazing table design like this. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. <music> So we're going to do this down here and then let's just draw a text box here using the type tool and i'm going to enter our table within this so in order to do this you go to the main menu click on table and then go to insert so this is where we're going to specify the size that's the rows and the column of the table so the column is the vertical and then the rows are the horizontal so at this time around i want five rows and then four columns you can specify number of times you want it number of rows you want and you can change that any time at all you want so i'll just click on ok and you can see at the moment i have my table set up four columns and then what five rows you can do modification change the weight and every other thing so once this table is set up you can start typing you can type within this table you can fill this table with data but you can also go ahead and do some other additional modifications so once you set up this table we have let's assume you want to add extra let's assume you want to add add extra columns to this or rows to this you can just go to the last and then click on what the tab key on your keyboard or just go to windows and then we have what types and what tables over here just make sure you select tables and you can see we now have the settings over here you can see if i've increased this to eight and then this the columns is four so if you want to add the additional column i can change this to what five and it should increase the number of column that i have so when i click on this hit enter i can see i have extra i have extra column which has been stretched beyond my screen okay so this is how you can create a table and you can actually do some additional modification to this so once i add and i enter data into this table i can actually do some additional modifications so you can see how this table is looking if you want to do something like this then with your table selected go to tables and then we have the table options you go to options and you can go to alternative fields we have stroke as well so you can even click on stroke and then you can see the stroke color we have you can change that anytime you want so we have the alternative pattern alternative pattern you can just specify that that's for the rule and then you can select which one you want let me just select that you can see the colors and every other things you can just modify that and i can select that i can see part of this line seems to be thicker than the rest i want to just apply some settings that look just like this so if you want something like that just go to your tables and go to options and then go to alternative field and we can specify other additional options from here so this tomorrow i'm going to select second and i can specify a color that i want to use and then you can click on ok so you can see how it's going to modify this table for you if you want to do any additional things make sure you have your text to selected or your type to selected before you go to this other than that this is not going to be active so you can do that instead of picking second i can just go to even enter the order rule so we have other options the stroke and we are at the setup so there's a lot you can do you can come here and then play with the settings over here so you can see how this is going to look like looking exactly as this if you want a different color you can just go to the same option table option and then change the color subscribe like and share my videos and leave a comment at the comment section because i'm going to do amazing videos there's a lot coming up and i believe you like to enjoy that so turn on post notification for more of my videos like come your way again